Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so last time we got back into town after beating our first dungeon. And uh, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. I met, I'm going to do a little bit of spoiling some stuff we're going to get done here. We're going to begin the trading side quest. Grab a piece of heart, a couple other little things. Uh, and beyond that, I finally want to talk about the timeline, hopefully without distracting myself like I've been doing. So first things first, let's go get the first of the... Oh, we already got the piece of heart, never mind. Let's go get the uh, ring appraised. Hey, Vasu. What can I do, Vasu? Praise this form, please. This is the discovery ring. What this does is it shows us hidden spots of soft earth. Cool. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Down here, this away, over to here. I don't know if there's anything hidden in these trees, but let's find out. There we go. Shh, don't tell. I'll take the money. Thank you, sir. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't... Let's make it winter. I want to get whatever's in there. So we're going to come back here in one second once we make the town into winter. And we deal with this guy. Wait, young traveler. I'm a wandering prophet. They call me Sakra. Sakra to me, baby. Ah, uh, I feel it. Spring, summer. Autumn and winter. The four spirits are calling you. Boo. Make no mistake. The Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple, then pay a visit to spirits who live there. Surely they can help you, blah, 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 on your way. Farewell. Ah, uh, sip the coffee in, and we're good to torch the tree. Do, 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 do. There we go. Alright, I do want to also now equip you. Oh, wait. Let's get some more CDs. Yeah, seeds. Oh, also, actually, we need... We do need this on as well. Because he can't see, so... Splendid! I can finally focus. Here, take this Kukadex! We got the Kukadex. It's the result of many years of Kuko research. Okay. Well... After this, we're going to want to blow a hole in the wall. Oh, crap. I'm so used to it automatically being on the ground when you pick up a bomb that it's just always weird to me when I hold the bomb and it's there. Alright. Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit better, but okay. Twenty rupees, not too bad, I suppose. All right, let's put the shield on, so we don't drop flames and stuff everywhere we go, or bombs. Let's see. Anything else we can do in here? We got the heart piece. Planted the gosh tree, which we'll have to come back and pick up later. I don't know how long it takes them to grow. I should have looked that up, but whatever. All right. Boop. Boop. What's in this hole? Do 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 do. I love this song, the um, Song of Storms. So we can jump down into this hole, okay? And there he is. It's. This guy, go around and go around. If I could just soil it, it would go around much more quickly. Hmm, so he's looking for oil. Well, we have a Kukadex, we don't have oil. Though, honestly, I like I said, I love this song. A 
we're just kind of exploring at the moment. We can make it winter, but I don't think we want to. We can't get across there yet. Hey, it's horrible! A temple! Like fell into Sabrosia! Um, what's a temple? Sabrosia is a secret place. I must return in secret, without being seen! Okay, cool. <laughs> That's actually where we kind of want to go, Sabrosia. But, uh... I'm sure there's a secret thing in here somewhere. No? Really? Haha! -ha! Oh. Okay. I was wrong. Okay. Alright. How about what's in this tunnel? Why it's the beach? Life's a beach. And Link. What do we got here? I want to get back to all of me mates and take the ship free. But Cotton said, don't come back till you find me, Bell. Can someone take my place? Those guys are cool. The skeletons. They have an interesting story in Oracle of Ages, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know if we'll see it exactly in this combined game, but they are in both games. Do, 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 do. Such heroic fun music. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Bye. Okay, can't do anything here. I guess we'll have to follow her now. Ah, that's right, that's right. I remember how this goes. Whew. We'll get ourselves to, uh, Sabrosia. This music's kind of fun too, isn't it? And then she leaves. But she doesn't. She's back. Aha! She tricked you. Kind of. Aha! I wonder what that means. Here we go. Alright, so here we are. This is Subrosia. Uh, it is an underground land that uh, is a little bit smaller than the other map, but not by much. Alright, we want to go to the dance place. This is some brochure dance hall. Good dancers get a prize. We're about to practice. Would you like to dance with us? Yes. Then join the circle. Need instructions? Actually... No, I don't think I do. Boom. Bump. Bump. Actually need to get into the temple. Okay. Do do do. So 
before I sorry to say that I did want to talk about the timeline a little bit. So let, let's do that. Legend of Zelda had for a long time no discernible timeline. It kind of just was. They're all stories that seem to involve similar, if not the same, characters. But none of them were actually, you know, the same guy. It was always supposed to be a different Link for the most part, and a different Zelda. And so, it just... Uh, didn't make too much... Got the hiccups here. Didn't make, you know... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do I... Burn. Alright, so we have to get the Rod of Seasons, which is what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and equip the shield so I stop using my seeds up. It, 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 the uh, timeline didn't really need too much filling out. You had, remember at the beginning of everything you just had the two Nintendo games, Legend of Zelda, and then you had Adventure of Link. Uh, one of them, and there, there are two very different games just using the same character, you know, all kind of stuff, and just assumed one came after the other. You know, Legend of Zelda 2, the Adventures of Link. But as more games came out, the timeline just didn't make sense. You know, is it always the same again? Is it always the same Link? All that kind of stuff. And... So what ends up occurring is you, uh, the... I pass it up. The, the, I can't remember who, who broke down and admitted, but someone from Nintendo admitted there's a timeline. They have a timeline developed for the games, and it somehow makes sense. Now, it got very interesting because some of the games didn't look like they could work together. Um, because you figure you have, like, Ocarina of Time, where if you destroyed Ganon and you go back to the past, like, is it like the, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, turns out three timelines all converge at the beginning, right? So, so you've got a couple games at the very beginning of the timeline, and then you get up to a certain point and the timeline splits into three, with games occurring within certain timelines and not others. So let's begin with the first game that takes place in a timeline, with Skyward Sword. Um, I've never played it, I've only watched games through play of it kind of stuff, I know what the story is for it. And now we can use Winter! Yay! And, as such, you know, I'm not going to comment on the gameplay and all that kind of stuff, but it did have, like, the stamina meter that we found in Breath of the Wild, and some other little things that were... Thank you, Michael Tree. Some other things that were kind of, oh, that's who I wanted to go see was him. Damn, forgot. We'll see him before we go pick up the next lesson so we can see how big that. Yeah, so Skyward Sword introduced the whole idea of an evil god, basically. And the Link in there and the Zelda in there are the very first Link in Zelda. Zelda is... Some, is a reincarnation of the goddess Hylia, uh, who was tasked with protecting the Golden Lands and Triforce from evil that was created by Din Faror and Nairu. So you have the three main goddesses who create the land, the Triforce, all that kind of stuff, and then you have kind of their subordinate, who is tasked with ensuring that the people, the place, and the mystical power are protected from evil. And she's reincarnated as Zelda in that game, who falls in love, basically, with the first link, uh, who kind of becomes her protector. So I'm just trying to remember... Uh, can't do anything here. I do need to get the shovel, though. I just, oh, I know where the shovel is. I have to... We'll grab that in a little bit. I'm trying to find out if there's a way to turn this place into winter. Alright, 
so they defeat this evil god or whatever, and he curses Link and Zelda and informs them that their bloodline shall be cursed to always battle him, basically. And that he shall come back one day, and when he does, you know, they, they'll have to take him on. Again. And that is where Ganon, or Ganondorf, shows up. Uh, I don't remember how to make one here. Well, let's keep going. That's all we needed from here was the boomerang and the rod. And so... And he's gonna tell us how to use the rod. So... Skyward Sword ends. Hyrule begins, basically. Under the care and leadership of Zelda and Link. The next game that comes is much later in the series. Uh, Timeline-wise. You have the Minish Cap. Minish Cap doesn't have... Ganon, but it does have a descendant of Zelda and a descendant of Link, who are childhood friends. Okay, thank you. Sorry, he just tells us how to use the rod, which we want to do here. And go poof, winter. Ow. And uh, Minish Cap deals with the Picori who are a teeny tiny race and uh, the Cory Blade or the and how you know the hero and all this kind of stuff so it deals with uh, some of the other you know possible legends of Hyrule uh, because it's not always Ganon there is you know, an evil force, all that kind of stuff, and it's kind of explained in Skyward Sword why evil seems to populate uh, in Hyrule. I'm looking for a specific place real quick. And so, you have the Minish Cap where uh, Link must save Zelda from the curse of Vati, who is something of a evil wizard. You save the day in the Minish Cap uh, via the Kikori's uh, Holy Blade or whatever. And... Come on, grab that. Sorry, I have to burn trees when I see them because I'm always looking for secrets. There we go. Will you give me money or take money? Ah, son of a bitch. But yeah, so the the uh oh, maple. Let's see what you're gonna give me, maple. Uh, haha, you missed. I didn't want her to miss, but she did. All right, we need to make this place winter so we can get in that house. I think. Yeah, I, say, I think there's a bottom of a wall too. So Link saves the day uh, via the help of the Cory, their magical blade, and all that kind of stuff, and he seals Vati away, kind of. Uh, let's see. What is in here besides the treasure chest? Nothing. Yay, we got back all the rupees we lost. The next game in the timeline is Four Swords. Four Swords is based still on the uh, Cory Blade. So, even though the Master Blade is a thing, the Master Blade is created in Skyward Sword. Uh, the Cory Blade is a whole different blade. Get anything in this game yet? I don't remember. No. Okay. But the Four Swords invest, uh, basically deals with one of the special properties of the Cory Blade, which is creating clones. Uh, 
Um, the Quarry Blade eventually does get the power to create duplicates of Link. Uh, but these duplicates fade after time and Minish Cap. Well, four swords. Get the shovel from her. She calls us Santa. Uh, I don't remember what she calls you in the uh, Japanese version, but it's not Santa. Um, but yeah, so the... the, the, the Pokori Blade has the ability to split its user into four. And that's where Four Swords Adventures kind of takes place, is concentrating more on the ability of the, the sword to, to, to cause its user to uh, multiply. Hey look, it's another place. We'll go there later. And I've played Four Swords Adventures. I've never played Four Swords. Four Sword was, um, like I said, it was its own game and kind of not. It was attached to uh, the remake of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Alright, so I want to go... We gotta make it winter! I kind of want to go back to town before we hit the second dungeon up, because we'll be going there shortly, so let's head back to town. Maybe. Oh no! I don't know if I can go back to town. Okay, maybe I can. Okay, we're almost to town. Want well, to check out the Maku Tree? But yeah, so so Four Swords Adventures deals with, or Four Swords deals with, like I said, the, the mystical properties of the Cory Blade. Later in the timeline comes Ocarina. Yeah, he did get a big, a little bit bigger, not by much, but just a little. The uh, next game in the timeline is Ocarina of Time. Uh, most people know what this game is. It's one of the top uh, played. Zelda games on YouTube. And Ocarina of Time deals with a young escapee from the war in Hyrule at some point uh, who has been raised in Kakariko Village as an orphan. Deep in the forest by a Maku tree. Who apparently is a race and not just a certain tree. Um, they're all mystical trees, kind of. Deal. So... That game has you going and getting the Master Sword, so it's the first time that the Master Sword is used besides Skyward Sword. And when you draw it, you don't have enough strength or whatever to use it just yet, so you sleep for seven years, Ganon takes over Hyrule, and you kind of have to stop it. You, you go through and save the day, and Zelda sends you back in time to give you back your childhood, basically. And that is where the timeline splits. We'll talk about some more of the timeline when we play next time, because we're almost done for the day. So Ocarina of Time has three different timelines. The back in time, uh, no Ganon timeline, where you're a child, you, you become a child again, and basically convince the king to put Ganon in jail, so Ganon never gets the chance to take over the, the realm. Uh, and as such, you know, you don't get to be the hero. You, you're just a kid. But, like I said, it does stop, it stops scanning. The, uh, so, so basically Ganon's gone from the timeline from that point forward. Uh, second timeline that forms is the fallen hero timeline, where you've lost, you've died. You've never stopped Ganon. And it said Ganon has taken over, and... It's up to the kingdom itself to stop Ganon somehow, and that leads to a whole slew of games. That has the most games in the timeline. And finally, there is the... what's called the adult timeline. But basically, it's no hero. You never drew the Master Sword, and so Ganon wasn't stopped. Right? You didn't go back in time. So 
there, there's three distinct timelines. You went forward in time, you stopped Ganon, got sent back in time, and stopped Ganon again. So, no Ganon. You go forward in time, and Ganon kills you, so you never go back in time to stop him. Ganon wins. And finally, there is the... You go back in time to try and stop Ganon. You're unable to stop him because... You know, you, you actually you stop him in the future, you go back in time, and you move forward in time, and there's no Ganon. Somehow you stop him in the past as well. You know, he doesn't manage to take over the kingdom, but it's it's different than you stopped him as a child. Uh, basically, Link is never the hero in that timeline. Uh, I, I, I have to look up that one a little bit further, but that's, that's the basic explanation is... Link never becomes a hero, and as such, uh, once again, Ganon is stopped. Uh, and rather than having died, you just you never become the hero of time. Uh, and that's that's what it is. Sorry, I have I have a weird note in my thing. No adult fallen, uh, no adult hero. And so I was misreading it. Yeah. You never become the adult Link, so you never stop Ganon. He stops you before you pull the Master Sword. Uh, that's about it. That's, that's the three timelines. So, there's four games that start off the series. There's three timelines that fill in the rest of the games. And the Oracle games actually take place on the Fallen Hero timeline. So we'll talk about that one next time. Until then, be happy, be healthy, and we're going to head off to the second dungeon. I'll see you then. Bye.